Hey everyone, this is Emily Bowman, the designer on the environments team, and I'm here to go over the design issues we'll be working on in 16.6. So we have quite a combination of bigger initiatives as well as smaller, less impacting usability issues. Uh, the first one being one that we've been working on the last few milestones being our service concept. So while we made some great progress on this design-wise the past milestone, we'll want to focus in on completing out kind of like the user journey, ensuring we know how a service will be configured, as well as fixing up the uh, service list, as well as the details view for an MVC. So engineering can start working on it. So there'll be a lot of work going into this. We're hoping to close off some of the design stuff very shortly. So excited to see where this goes at the end of this milestone. The next bigger initiative we'll want to do is a competitor evaluation within some features in the environment stage. This is still in the planning um, portion, so we're still trying to figure out what features and what user journey we want to actually um, compare with, um, but this will be something we'll be completing in 16.6 and hopefully coming out with a bunch of different ideas on how to improve our features in the environments uh, stage. The next one um, we'll be focusing on is add context that release titles take the tag name when there's no title. So this is a very small usability issue that just gives users an idea of what happens when you don't add a release title. And that title just takes the name of your tag. Um, so just putting that very out there in the UI and making it obvious what happens. The next one is a smaller sus impacting issue that is just updating the deploy token UX to let users know what happens when they create an expired token. Um, so just making that experience a bit more transparent and giving users a bit more context of what happens in this case. The next one is we'll want to handle what happens when selection of tags are already in use when creating a release. So currently when you go to select a tag in the tag dropdown, there can be a bunch of tags there that are already in use and you can't use them for this release. So this is kind of fixing up that UX and giving users more transparency into what tags are already in use and what happens if you select a tag that is already in use. And then the final stretch goal for 16.6, which is another multi-milestone initiative, is working on our environment stage jobs. So um, what we'll be focusing on is finishing up a job canvas for some of the job performers we've kind of figured out for this area. And from there, we will be able to like re redo some of our job stories, figure out new job stories, and just rethink our jobs for the environment stage. And uh, that is all that we'll be working on in environments for the next milestone. Thanks for watching. Well. Following Emily's uh, discussion on what we plan to work on in the discovery part of the environments group, my name is Victor Nagy and I'm the product manager and I will guide you through the delivery plans for the 16.6 .6 milestone. This will be a very bug fixing and maintenance heavy milestone for us. As you can see from our goals section, we have quite a few separate two and separate three bugs that are close to the due date. Uh, we want to improve the agent observability. We started to work on a series of bugs related to the environment stopping stage, um, and we want to continue that work. And we have as well a cross company OKR that uh, we were asked to support, where the data team, the analytics team, uh, cleans up. Uh, some data that uh, might be personally identifiable. And based on that, we have to, we will remove one of our metrics. Um, another OKR that, and this is from uh, our own team, own team's OKR, is to improve error messages of protected environment settings in its minor improvement uh, on a page that we want to ship in the coming milestone. On the, again, a bit of maintenance under point five, uh, mostly to improve some documentation, reference architecture, improve uh, the agent configuration, YAML, <clears throat> and so on. And there are three features that um, 
we would like to work on and hopefully ship at least uh, the first bits of them. The first is the dashboard MVC. If everything goes well, we'll ship the watch API support either very late in the current milestone or in very early in the next milestone. That's why I'm not speaking about that. But the first major work here is the Kubernetes dashboard. First iteration. This means that we want to support only the resources that are available from the current cluster UI in the environments pages. But followingly, we want to build out a full-fledged Kubernetes dashboard within GitLab. The other item that we are working on and we are looking forward to see progress on is the external CI jobs. Here, we started to run a spike at the very end of the current milestone. Uh, that was successful. We will continue with uh, <clears throat> an extension of this spike to specifically look at uh, how Flux can be supported with the current syntax. And if everything goes well, we will even turn to the uh, productization of this uh, feature set. And the reason why this is actually a very important feature, we initially wanted to implement it specifically for Flux. It, it, you can think about it as an extension on the external commit status that exists already in GitLab. Not to an extension, more like an improvement or rethinking of that. Because here, this external CI job can be anywhere inside the uh, pipeline. And as a result, you can run tests followingly and so on. While an external CI job kind of, a, it's more like a, a final signal that was that came from some external system. Since we started this discussion, some solution architects and customer success people reached out in the Epic, in the issues, saying that they see other use cases that uh, where this could be beneficial. Um, but that's, we will we will leave that to the pipeline execution team very likely. <clears throat> and the third item that is very much a stretch, um, it's still in refinement. Uh, but if everything goes well, we at least start working on it, is to improve how Flux can access GitLab. This improvement would mean that today the Flux users need to manage various tokens uh, in their clusters, rotate those tokens, and so on. We would like to take over this burden from them and create the tokens in the cluster using the GitLab agent for Kubernetes. This was a quick overview of our delivery plans. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the G Environment Slack channel.